to give the relief material secondly we had some local officers also we have a pool of officers who were locals of that area who know who knew the loopholes and the ins and outs of these areas okay. so that's, that's initially when we started thing. we started from scratch and now we are restoring uh, and we are trying to come back to normalcy that's the reason why aircel could function uh, uh, compared to other networks yes So, yes, sir, yes the army in? has uh, also taken some initiative since the boots are on the ground and there is uh, contact with the people being rescued by the army rescue teams the uh, uh, the rescue calls and the distress calls and uh, relatives wanting to contact their near and dear ones were being transmitted to us on our uh, social networking sites and through that we were relaying it uh, to the uh, through the army channels and over radio sets to the relief teams on ground right so uh, there were uh, as much as uh, 9 to 10000 distress messages many have translated the place and he was well he was uh, happy with the uh, skill level the situational awareness and the maturity at which everything is going uh, our uh, biggest challenge is the weather and uh, the bird activity now since the water is receding there is lot of muck and slush lying around so hence Uh, uh due to that the bird activity has increased and uh, the weather is a great challenge to the indian air force because uh, uh, the minute the weather is fine then we are able to reach out to everybody and rescue everyone ma'am i would like to ask you here uh, that the boats have been increased today the army has increased number of boats uh, in yes. that region so because of that has indian air force uh, decreased the amount of airlifting or winching out people from there yeah the winching 